Okay, so OpenAI just came out with a brand new user interface. It's the first time we've really seen a AI company give us a completely new way of working. And depending on your experience, your point of view, it may not be earth shattering, it may be marginal, um, who knows, but I wanna run you through it. I haven't done a deep dive, I've been playing with it, but as always, going back to these videos, trying to give you my first impression. So. This is for Plus and Teams subscribers of OpenAI. To get it, you got to select the model. So up here, you'll see that right now 4.0 is selected. What you want to do is come down here and say 4.0 with Canvas. Um, and here we go. Now the user interface hasn't changed too much, but basically what I've done is I've copied a bunch of random notes and all that on uh, two programs here. Uh, at the school I teach, Indiana University. I'm in my office, not the best recording conditions, kind of looks like a hostage video, sorry about that. Um, but anyway, uh, just to demonstrate. So I'm gonna say, um, uh, I want to draft a letter to a law firm chair sharing this these programs, programs with them and bringing it to their attention, okay? Um, just correct that real quick. And then I'm just going to dump, no, oh, that's the wrong one. Let me, uh, that's for this. So let me go to Word and you can see it's just a bunch of random notes and thoughts that I had. There we go. And uh, you should see that this is gonna open up the canvas now I'm in dark mode, so uh, you can change this to light mode and all that. So you can basically see that it wrote the note, okay? Now some interesting things here. I can select this line, okay? And notice over here that I can bold it, italicize it. I can ask a chat GPT specifically about that. There's also this um, and uh, basically say, uh, can you provide more details here? Okay, so I basically selected that that just that paragraph and it completely rewrote it. Okay, so looking through here, um, all right. Now, basically I wanna say, you know, on the mill, what is the mill? Um, can you, do you know about the mill? I'll just ask, do you know what this is? See if it can pull in any other information. Um, so you can see in the left-hand panel right here, it's answering my question, okay? Uh, now it doesn't look like it actually went out to the internet. It looks like it basically just reworded my um, information there, but uh, let's see what else we can do. So, it got me thinking this could be an interesting model for our talent strategy, maybe something to explore as a prototype for collaborating more, even think about placements, interns with VC clients, or ways to grow curriculum design. Um, yeah, maybe I wanna add a line in here that is, um, let's see how to do this. Uh, I'll just add it right here. Okay, let me say, can you uh, basically, um, sorry, I'm thinking as I do this, uh, even thinking about placements. And, okay, elaborate on this to help them appreciate how different this is and how they might use it for a competitive advantage. Now, obviously I would be thinking through this, but um, let's just see what it comes up with and see if it uh, changes anything, stands out, is unique, partnering directly with law school. Okay, so it, you know, listen, it's, it's, I'm not gonna go into the substance right now, but you can basically see that it, uh, I can go line for line, word for word. Um, let's see if I want to, you know, uh, I can bold now uh, these firm names. If I want to, again, why would I, I could always bold these in whatever Google Doc or Word, 
Not sure why I want to bold here, um, but whatever, that's fine. And um, yeah, let's move on to some other things. So you'll also see, I showed you the inline, um, also showed you the plus over here. Let's go down here. So we have add emojis, which, um, you know, uh, I'll just add emojis to it. Not that I want to send to that. Um, I don't like the emojis, so I'm going to go back to previous version. Okay, you were very, I'm going to restore that. Okay, let's go back down here. Add final polish, I'll come back to. Let's go to reading level. So I can basically, you know, increase uh, high school, college, graduate, or go down. So we'll go up to college, watch it rewrite that. Probably didn't change it much given my audience. Um, Adjust length, obviously, I can change that. That's pretty self-explanatory. Add final polish. Now, this has been interesting to see different versions of this. It's just basically formatting and layout. Um, again, you could do this in whatever word uh, processing word program you use. Uh, but again, it's a nice, it's a nice touch. So uh, don't forget, you've got inline editing right here. You've got uh, sort of editor explain about the sort of the sections and then down here you have these as well so some interesting things and this is the first version so i suggest you try it out um, and as always share share what you're coming up with talk to you